Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by to encourage us or even to remind us that God answers. Amen. He hears us and he answers us. Amen. So one of our biggest resources as Christians is prayer. Amen. Prayer for us as believer is power, right? So it's our lifeline on our Christian journey, right? It, and it's also our power tool, prayer is. So it allows us to knock on heaven's door and to get God's attention, right? And so all throughout the Bible, we find many men and women who um, who has tapped into this power of prayer, amen? And, a lot, and I would like to share, you know, just a few of the many with us today. So 1 Chronicles 4 and 10, it reads, And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. pain. Amen. So God not only heard Jabez's prayer, but it says that God granted him what he requested, right? And so the Bible also, in speaking of Hannah, we find in 1 Samuel 1 and 10, and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. So um, here, and then we'll find another in he, uh, with Hezekiah. In 2 Kings 22 and 3, Hezekiah has fallen ill. He is sick and he is on his deathbed. And it reads, then he turned his face toward the wall and prayed to the Lord saying, remember now, O Lord, I pray how I have walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly, right? So because of Hezekiah's prayer, because of his faith, um, the Lord answered him. We find that the Lord answers him in verse five. And it says, return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father. I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Surely I will heal you. On the third day, you shall go up to the house of the Lord. Amen. Hey, let's not stop there. Jonah two and one. Amen. Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God while he was in the belly of a fish, right? And here's another very familiar story, very familiar passages of scripture. We find in Acts 16 and 25, Paul and Silas, they are in prison. They are in chains. Amen. And it says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. So do you see the similarities? Do you see the pattern, right? Um, in these verses that, uh, that we, I've just shared, Hezekiah was on his deathbed and he prayed. Jonah was in trouble in the belly of a fish and he prayed. Amen. Hannah, she was hurting. She was in anguish. She was in distress. She was bitter, but yet and still she prayed. Amen. Jabez was seeking a blessing from God. So he prayed. Amen. And Paul and Silas, Paul and Silas, excuse me, bound and in prison and they prayed as well. So prayer is a necessity for us as Christians, for us as believers, right? The Bible give us, gives us all these different um, stories, all these different examples of men and women who sought after God, who prayed um, to the Lord, went to the Lord in prayer in the midst of their circumstances. Amen. They didn't allow their circumstances to consume them or and to turn away from God. In fact, they turned into God and pressed more into God. Amen. So we can learn from them. We can learn from them. We can also be encouraged by them, right? That we too need to pray no matter where we are. No, no matter where you are, God hears you. Amen. Amen. If you're underwater, God can hear you. If you're at the end of your life and on your deathbed have received a bad report from the doctors, they walked away and they've given up. God can hear you. If you're in prison, if you're bound, if you're in chains, listen, you're in distress. God can hear you. Amen. You just need to open up your mouth and pray. Amen. So it doesn't matter what your situation is. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are. God can hear you. So I encourage you. I encourage us to pray. Amen. Because prayer is still worse and there is power in 
prayer. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing, right? So not only does God hear our prayers, but God, the Lord our God also answers our prayers. We find that these people pray. They pray and God heard them and God answered. Amen. So if you call unto the Lord, his word says that I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Amen. So I encourage us that we must cry in faith. We must believe in faith. We must trust in faith because the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, he is merciful and he is faithful. Amen. So listen, until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose, pray, and know that God hears and he answers. Amen. Have a blessed week. Mm -hmm.